Here are the receivers that I'm going to waterproof today. I'm going to waterproof the top sides first and then allow them to dry for probably 30 to 45 minutes. And then I'll flip them over and catch the other side. So, and I'll also do the same with this light controller, even though there's really nothing there. Just to be safe. You never know. Okay, let me see if I can get this thing sealed up here. See if I can not mess up with the uh, little button. Try to get that down into there a little bit. Between the crystals. I'm pretty sure these crystals are totally sealed inside because I've never had an issue with them, with this stuff getting in there. Get right here around that switch. Alrighty, we're gonna go on top of the white stuff here just to make sure I got a good coating everywhere. Okay, now it gets to sit for a while. I've done this one since it was so simple. It's just really, there's no switches, no contacts, just gotta coat everything. I'm gonna go ahead and catch the back side of it, which is pretty much nothing there. It's just, just to be thorough. Get all around these things. I mean, if this thing goes underwater, these terminals are going to make contact regardless. So, but anyway, this one can now sit down and dry. And then it'll get some heat shrink and It'll be ready to go into the TRX-4. Okay, let's go ahead and catch the back side of this. This one's got a nice coating. Everything looks nice and dry. We're going to go ahead and coat the back of it. There's no switches or anything here, so it's pretty well straightforward. And just slather it all on there. Make sure you get around all the little relays and different components because this stuff can actually seal around their connections to the board so just make sure you get it on there good I don't really think it matters here because the underside is going to be exposed anyway but these chips and different things those are where you need to make sure you get it right now, I really like using this for all my waterproofing. So, there are other chemicals out there, other coatings, that'll actually get the job done just as well. But this is my preference. Now, as you're watching this and looking at this, thinking you use whatever and it works great. And you use liquid tape, it does great. Well, do me a favor and post down in the comments about what you use and how you use it, how you apply it, so that it works as good as you say it does. As this video grows and people, you know, YouTube search it and they come up with this, maybe they'll look through the comments and actually see other stuff that works. So we can pretty much help out the whole community. Get this to... Uh, Try to help out everybody. So post up. Let me know what you use. And oh, and another thing. Let me see here. Pretty sure it says it somewhere on here. But when messing with these chemicals, be careful not to get it on your fingers. I mean, I'm not using gloves, but I probably should be. And uh, also, make sure your area is ventilated. I'm currently in a room. And there's plenty of ventilation here. I'm actually not smelling anything. So, anyway, let us know what you use.